Okay, so we're talking. Good evening, everyone. Testing, testing. Are we all now? No. Okay. Stuff out. Members are reminded that council has a jolly duty to consider the following matters in the exercise of any of its functions: equal opportunities, race, gender, sexual orientation, mental status, age, and disability, crime and disorder, health and safety, and human rights. Right, emergency evacuation procedure. We'll be there, and as you all know, this is being recorded. Um, agenda item number one: is submissions from the public of whom there are no one here. Agenda item two, Sharon, please receive any apologies for absence. Uh, yeah, Councillor Terry Cullen and Michael is subbing for her and Councillor Anne Ward. Okay. Just wait for them to come back. Local Government Act 1972. <coughs> uh, I'm for, um, the for my current employer, um, Freddy, uh, which is listed as Crofts and Monday Way. It's going to be acquired by Hewlett Packard on the price from the 1st of January. So, what's the official way of changing it? Because I remember when I had a change, I also had to write to South Yeah, you just have to let the monitoring officer know any yeah. changes, as all councillors do, so okay. that they can update that end and then obviously you can let me know. And so can I just send one email to both of you? Yes, I will. Okay, yeah. okay. okay uh, agenda item four, announcements by the chair, and we have none. Agenda item five, to bring the minutes of the meeting held on the month of October 2019 to the first record. Proposed by the amendment chair. My amendment? My, yes, please. Uh, my apology wasn't recorded yet. You apologise? Yeah, you? I just sent my apology, yeah. Right, okay. okay. We have anything? Yep,
£25 charge for that. South Wales Council job website, which also included an entry on the Indeed job website, there was no charge for that. The Alco website, no charge. The SLCC website, £180 plus VAT. Metro newspaper, £100 plus VAT. Western mm. Times today, <coughs> newspaper, £98 plus VAT. Bristol Evening Post newspaper and the Fish for Jobs website was £860 in VAT. So we sent out 30 application packs and five applications were actually received back. So that was one from Bradley Stoke Journal, one from the SLCC website, one from our website, one from the South Wales Council website and one from the Metro News. We shortlisted the five and we are interviewing three. So the interview panel is myself, the Chair of Council Staffing Committee, plus a representative from South Wales Council HR. The pay scale of the job is as detailed above, so there will be no extra cost to the BSTC as the outgoing member of staff is on the top scale point anyway. So um, can you please discuss and decide or give the interview panel um, to be able to appoint a successful candidate to the relevant scale point dependent upon experience and qualification? Right. Could, I, could I just ask a quick question? Yep. On the we got the pay scale of job as detailed above. Uh, there. Right, and what is John on at the moment? He's on the top, is he? Yes, what's it there? Yeah, yeah, so presumably we wouldn't appoint someone a newbie on the top. Yes, she would if they had the relevant experience and qualification. Would you? What, after all, all the senior jobs done? Well, yeah, because if they've been involved in local councils for many years, all their previous service does count as experience. Mm. Well, I'm not sure I'm particularly happy with that. Chair, would it be prudent to say that they do like the six months um, provision first before even going to straight up to the top? We could that, and that's what, as I say, that's what we yeah. need to, to discuss. Yeah. So, it's like with any jobs, isn't it? People do sort of either three months or six months. Mm. They don't go straight in. Well, it's a very tight scale anyway, isn't it? Isn't yeah, it's not, there's, it's not 2, a huge difference. 2,700 odd No, difference. it's not, it's not massive. Yeah. But I would be, I don't think it would be right, whatever this man or woman's experience is, to come in on the same salary as the outgoing person, especially everything that John does beyond the call of duty. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got to put that up first. Me. Uh, Michael. I think the other thing we have to bear in mind is what salary the person is getting at the moment, because it may be that they are already at the top scale of all this. The job but they, they would have seen that advertised. Yes, they, they would, yeah. They all know, they've all seen this and they all know what the scale is, so that mm -hmm. if they are choosing to potentially take a low scale, that's, that's their choice. Right. Um, I, I think that your points are really valid, and you're our longest serving councillor, aren't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you you were involved with the other, other appointments of senior posts previously, weren't you? Not with, no, because I wouldn't, I didn't get involved with you, did I, because I wasn't chair then, that was Mark Forsyth, wasn't it? No, Mark. Yeah, yeah, no, I am. Yeah. No, I was, I was going to ask, I'd, I'd, I'd have liked if council and support of you also being on the interview panel to yeah. add that mm -hmm. consistency because yeah. Yeah. I think what things you're pointing out are very apt yeah. and very relevant. And you've been here the longest as well. I think that I agree with Ben. Well, uh, who's, who's on it? Well, I did. I sent it out. Yes, I know. Did yes, yeah. I did. I did. The only person that replied was Tom. So, Tom. <laughs> so it's so it's me, um, of Tom, and then we've got Louise from South Wales HR. Well, we have a set probation, so it is that is we've got a policy on that. I'm really bad. I do believe that you should be here for this time. Around the afternoon? No, I'm not. Yeah, it is awkward. <coughs> Isn't it, John? I think you're quite right. I mean, the reality of the matter is, I mean, there's been quite a, a sort of a convoluted path for John uh, when he got to where he is because he was managing um, <coughs> the, the centres 
and then became the deputy clerk. And in reality, it's, it's an evolution because centres have got bigger, there's lots more to manage, etc. And I think someone was to step straight into John's shoes exactly like that and be reflecting the same board. And I think it's going to be quite difficult for them to just come straight into work. So I thought it would have been great, you know, I mean, if they were over. <coughs> yeah, and, and the scale is so small, the difference is so small. Yeah. I can't see why we can't say they start on 32 and then they work their way up to the top. Yeah. If you get someone right at the top, then he can't go any further. It's, it's a frustration. But if he starts at, I keep saying he, if he or she starts at 32, <laughs> then at least if they, gender neutral even, start at 32, then they can then work their way up through, through volunteering. I'm not sure I can take anything from you, Keith, as you no, know, no. on the... Yeah. Well, all I was going to say was, is there a pay award pending after this? Well, it will be next day. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not a very long scale, anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, that, 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 is, that is my opinion for, for what it's worth, that the person should start on 32. Yeah, I agree with that. Is that very subjective? <coughs> yeah. We can't oh, sort of lesson now, can you just have a toast in there? No, 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 what I mean is, is that, for instance, say somebody did um, a true interview, mm -hmm. showed by merit that they could be pegged in a particular point and pay scale was higher by having a free and fair competition, but then you're, you, de you deliberately peg it lower and pending the probation, end of the probation period, there's a review and then it's applied or not applied, because you're then assessing that person in post with a skill set for their probationary mm -hmm. period. And also you, have, you do have to bear in, in mind the, the qualification as well. Yeah. Because we have asked for a specific qualification for the fact that they would achieve it. So if somebody is coming for an interview and has that qualification, they should go on at least one, one point higher, I would suggest. I would agree. With, with, with no qualification but willing to take it, and then they would go up subject to... Gaining the qualification. Yeah, sure. If the salary range was 25,000 to 35,000, then yes, you know, you could sort it in the middle, but it's such a small margin small anyway. Small if they do price. start at 32, they'll be up to 34 pretty soon anyway, won't they? Well, four, four years. Four years. Four years. Well, yeah. that's pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fascinated by your suggestion that 2,500 pounds is not much. But it's not, <laughs> is it? Not this not, day and age. Yeah, it's not, not, not even a good week. Not a lot. Elaine spends out on Christmas, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So you've not been. <laughs> anyway, where have we got have we got anywhere? Yeah, no, we haven't proposed the three. Yeah, true, I think. I propose that the the three what, what proposal do you want? That we pass power to the interview panel to take take well, the person no, on, do you? Is that well, what we want us to say? Um to a point to the relevant scale point, mm -hmm. dependent on experience and and a qualification, but if you don't want that, even though you actually do say in your job thing that the starting salary is dependent upon experience and qualification, and I think it's quite difficult if somebody is coming to the interview with the relevant experience and qualification and you still put them on the lowest. So I think that was a teaching quite dangerously on like it's a meritocracy we're supposed to be working in, not a. I can use this term. Mm. Which my, I would suggest that you consider starting someone on scale point 29 if they have no experience and no qualification but then you look at putting them on scale point 30 if they come with relevant experience and qualification, yeah. well, and qualification. i would put anybody on 30 if they've got no relevant qualifications or experience i would put them on 32 i would put them on scale 29 I'll put them on a lot They can't. This is, this is the, the scale job. band for the job. You job. have to mark and stick within it. You can't yes. Go put back. them on something else. You've already shortlisted three people. Yes. So these three people, have they got all the qualifications we need? Um, two of them have. Two of them have what? To go to scale 32? Well, I don't know. It's, it's up to you to decide that. I'm not okay, passing all that information. Jeff, my view, whoever we select them. among the three yeah, sure. will start from the yeah, lower scale band. I, I, I agree with John, start at the lower scale, the lower 22, scale, and then after six months, if they pass probation, then they go up. They can't go up beyond 32, can they? No, they can't, they can't no. go up beyond. No, I think <coughs> they mean 32,000, not scale oh, point 32, 32, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.
Scale yeah. point 29. Scale yeah. point 29. Yeah. And after the probation, yeah. if they've, they've passed that, then, then you put them up to, to whatever that is. We can. That's slightly that's different, though. No, we do review after a year in post, not we probation. Review. We can review it as part of the usual annual review pay scale. But that would be uh, through appraisals anyway, and then there would be an automatic progression yeah. if they've got the successful appraisal. That doesn't so quite work. I think you've just got to take the personalities of the accounts out of it. It's a brand, it's essentially a new post, and you, you're assessing somebody on merit what they're coming into presenting in an interview. You can't prejudge that. As much as it's hard to swallow, you can't prejudge it. I think it opens us up to challenge in a very negative way if we do prejudge the interview based on somebody could sit there. I mean, they could be, uh, the, uh, run a town, been a town clerk all their lives professionally and they want something different and they're taking a step back. And it would be very hard to look at somebody and say, you've actually ran a town council as a town clerk and now you're sat here looking to do a deputy role because you've decided to take a, a, a step yourself to step back a bit. Um, I think that'd be really difficult if you want to change graphical like need for them to move as the outgoing town clerk at Stoke Newport. Yes. Yeah. So I, th I think it's very, very difficult to do that. I mean, that's probably because we're attaching too much to the personality of the person who's already got a post. You've got to detach that yeah. and I think about it's just a post, it's a good free and fair competition, and you've just got to appoint based on whatever the interview panel comes back with. Mm. So, okay. you like to start so the interview that. panel actually. Appoint the candidate, it won't yes. come back to us again. No, so that'll, that'll be it. it that'll be it. it I'm not well, saying we've got any proposals. I'm just saying it should be a proper process, not what we say. I propose to start at 32. Any job that you tend to go with, you always have a probation period and you do not get the full amount to start with. You always start, from start the at the, 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 say, like the 32. Then after the six months, if you pass that probation, then you get one scale point. Yes. Three. That would be reasonable. Well, that's the relevant, I think you need to put in there about the qualifications. Yes. No, they might have the qualification, but they might not perform at the interview. Yes. Yeah. So, so it's, we can't it's, it's, on the qualifications. Yeah. It's yeah. the probationary period. Yeah. It's a review of them plus the qualification. Yeah. You wouldn't want to give them a scale point increase if they've not got the qualification. No, you don't get that. That's what I'm saying. You can do it on the probation period. Yeah. Yeah. Deliberately start the lowest, and after, after you've exited the probationary period, you then yeah. snap them yes. into where the how thought they should have gone. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. Is that, is that so good? that. Yeah, that's fine. So <laughs> right. that's good. Well so a point on NJC scale point. Yeah. Scale point on NJC scale point Is that also conditional that effectively that move up once they've actually got the qualification? Because if they've not got the qualification, then surely they shouldn't move up until they get the qualification. Well, no, there's, one with, there's no, two with qualifications, there's one without, isn't there? Yeah. So right, so the one without won't move up. But the two well, with depends, may, if they're good on well, the Well, I, I think you can just put, you review it at the six well, month probationary period, and then you can reassess that. I think that would be more sensible. I think that you review it at the six month period without qualification. Is that, 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 that proposal being the interview panel appoint the successful candidate to the relevant scale point, depending on the experience and qualification? But at the beginning of the start of employment for the probationary period would be on scale point 29 yep. with the opportunity to progress to the appointed scale point at interview upon successful completion of their probationary you period. Can you say it all again? Because that sounded fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, the interview panel to appoint the successful candidate to the relevant scale point. Hang on a minute. Point. Yeah, you have the same thing which you are. Yeah, you have it already. It's what you wrote. It's what so you wrote. it's exactly yeah. what you wrote down there, the qualification. Successful candidate to the relevant scale point well, depends on qualification. Yeah. However, upon appointment, to put commas in it. The successful candidate will be snapped in to scale point twenty nine. Point next. Yeah. I need to catch up with her. She's got a bit of a cold at the moment. Scale point 29. Upon completion of a successful probationary period, six 
If the interview panel had awarded an initial NJC scale point higher than 29... No, no, that's not... So if, if, the, if the interview panel assessed that a person could have snapped in between 29 and 32, or they could have been 32, we're saying initially, for the first part of their probationary period, they snap in on the lowest level. Yeah, for six months. For six yeah. months. There's yeah. a successful review period, and then after the six months, they're automatically applied to the scale point that the interview panel assessed them at after completing their probationary yeah. yes, period. Yes, because the interview yeah. panel would only assess them as higher than 29 if they yes. had experience yes. qualification. So yeah. the interview panel can come back and say it's 29, it's 29, it doesn't mean anything. Mm. If the interview panel has somebody who's the most experienced person since sliced bread in front of them, and then they award, let's say, scale point 32. It means that person can sit there for six months, prove their worth. They don't. They have a successful completion of appointment after six months, and then they're snapped into 32 based on the experience. Based on experience, yeah. going straight to 32 is too much. I think it should be 30 or 31. Or we have four good years for the individual. No, because the, 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 the post has been. The post has been. It's been advertised. Not advertised. advertised. It's been advertised yeah. and assessed yeah. at 29 to 32. Mm -hmm. We cannot regrade the post. That's what the post yeah. is. If you yeah. regrade it, you just change the whole system and structure. Yeah. Yeah. We can't do that. Yeah. So if the interview panel, sorry, what did you If say the that? interview panel initially assessed the successful candidate above scale point NJC 29. Assessed the successful. So it's the same what I'm saying, but you're yeah. saying yeah. a different yeah. word. Yeah. Yeah. Candidate. Above. above scale point 29, yeah. the candidate can be snapped into the to that to that scale point yeah. upon that successful. But not necessarily tell the person at the interview. No, no, no. I wouldn't have thought. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> no. So that's a moment, really. We can just put it up after six months. We'll be reviewing. Yeah. It's also yeah, the same, same, same as saying all that, shall we? Yeah, but it's an incentive anyway, isn't it? Wherever you work, you always have that probation period. So you are incentive yeah. to, to do your best. Can I just um, throw a caveat, Chairman, if I may? If someone comes along who is first class qualifications, mm -hmm. they might be expected to come in at 30 or 31 points because it doesn't actually say in the advert you will start at 29. And if you then turn around and say to them, I'm sorry, you're only starting at 29, they may say, well, in that case, I'm not going to bother. But that's and it's under review then for the probation period. So yeah, that, you don't have to say what they'll snap into, you just say they're under review. I'm talking yeah. about it starting, not after review. I, personally, I'd be up front with the candidate and say that, you know, you're awarded at this scale 29. point, point 29. Upon successful completion, it'll be reviewed. Have we any indication of what uh, point on the scale the applicants are at the moment? Is that not relevant? No, it's not relevant. Okay. okay so, sorry, the last bit was the candidate can be... Um, snapped into the whatever the interview panel decided. I like that word, snap. Oh, we didn't say it's... I'm not sure that's right, because yours... They, I know the panel are making a very big decision anyway, but they're also making a decision a decision for six months' time. Which it can. That's got to be decided in six months' time. Yeah. Right, John. By the way, John, I was told that this meeting's going to finish at 8 o'clock so I can get on my planning meeting, so I'm not well, sure whether... So, <laughs> what we've got here is the interview panel to appoint the successful candidate to the relevant scale points oh. pending upon experience and qualification. However, upon, upon appointment, the successful candidate will be snapped in at NJC scale point 29 upon completion of a successful six month probation period. Why can't I just say it will be reviewed? Just say it will be reviewed. And leave it down to start. Like, yeah. I, can I, I, think that, yeah. I think that. It's oh, much yeah, yeah. simple, yeah. 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 You could leave it well, yeah. yeah, it will it's be ready. Yeah. Yeah. You just be yeah, planned. Um, I think, yeah, if you put, if the interview panel, um, yeah, so, that's right. upon completion of a successful six month probation period, the scale point will be reviewed by staff. Yes. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. fine. Yeah. That's an yeah. important. Yeah. 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 Y
And if they're rubbish, you can put them down. You don't appoint them. Well, absolutely, you don't appoint them. You're right. Okay, who are happy with that? Yeah. Don't go so, past the probation yeah. period. So, <laughs> right, okay, so... Like, no, we'll it it. I seconded it. All in favour? That's unanimous. Thank you. Thank Whose proposal was that in the end, anyway? Thank you. Okay, agenda item 8, to do with the following financial matters. 8.1. 2019-20 Income Against Expenditure Budget Report. Yeah, we've all got that. Are there any um, people being given that? It's quite a lengthy document. Has anyone got any queries? It's not changed much. I haven't changed anything with it. Um, Rachel's done. I just put the um, up to date figures. What are the small changes? So you have the financial summary, obviously, on the front page, and then the relevant graphs and printouts yeah. and all pretty documents in there. We're doing a lot better than last year, don't we? Mm. Wait, where does this bit of paper come in? That's the budget drive. That is yes. there. Oh, that's the kind of thing. Yeah. Just before mm -hmm. that one. Yeah. It's not. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know which one I'm on. I'm just wondering. I thought that was relevant to that. We spend the whole money for the blank projects already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the um, car crops and things like that. Then, yeah, that's um. Right. Well, right, well, if it's the same as it was before. Yeah, there isn't a lot of movement on it. I mean, it's everything that's sort of been. I mean, Rachel did most of it. She forecast it and all that. Is, it, there's nothing that's ever gone through it that sort of stood out that sort of think, oh my gosh. Well, that is oh my gosh, isn't it? So you've got for the. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the next one, that's one yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's the next one. That's right, that. okay. And the petty cash. 8.2, petty cash statements. Yeah, there's that. There's, they're all there. If anyone's got any you have that in your pack. Have you got any questions on any item, please? I'm happy to propose it, but at home. Yeah. Thank you. A seconder. Yeah. Elaine, all in favour of the pet cash? Yeah, come on, Tom. Tom? Yeah. Thank you, unanimous. Printing publication for 2019-20 Radisson Town Council Annual Report. Right, you have all this in your agenda pack, so we've got three quotes. Um, I've worked with all of the companies, so I suggest that Council consider going with a nice quote. That, that is your recommendation? Is, so they're, yeah. they're all equally yes. as good or bad as each other? I propose. Okay, well, you propose the... Press the print. Press the print, Press the print. seconded by Ben. All those in favour? Oh, yeah. Unanimous. Thank you very much. Close the distribution of the annual report. Okay, so the at your service leaflet. Why doesn't, why doesn't Steve Morgan want to do it? I don't know. If that's the big you could. No, I don't know. activities kind of. Yes, he's not here tonight, is he? He's not been to a few meetings of late. Perhaps he's just watching it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you see what you've done now. <laughs> you take the best out of our meetings. <laughs> <laughs> this is all your fault. So the at your service. Hello, Stephen. <laughs> 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 at your service leaflet delivery, their cost is 891 plus VAT. They're a local delivery company and they're used by various other parish and town councils. Bradley Stoke Journal um, said that they didn't want to tender pension. Thank you for uh, asking them. The Royal Mail door to door service is 95691. And also, Royal Mail are not able to park deliver, to, to park post code, which meant that Vicky and I, in the pouring rain, had to deliver 250. What, what, what road to lose? Uh, it's, it's BS4. Because 
Oh, yes, four is um, the woodlands. Oh, oh well, no, the yeah. mobile home. Yeah. Yeah, BS 32-4 bin, yeah. but four auto covers, Armandsbury and out around that area, and you can't split a postcode in the oh, wrong mail, so we had to hand deliver all the BS 32-4, so I would like to respectfully suggest well, anyone that apart from the Elaine wants to propose. No, it's, it's that, um, there was one company that I contacted, like for, for my reason, they was charging £50 for a thousand. So there's quite a few on, on the on the internet, people around here, well, Bristol, that would do it a bit cheaper than that. But that's, yeah, but I would, personally, I would much rather go with, bearing in mind how relatively, it's not drastically And these aren't just one sheet of and paper, And it's not a flyer, they? it's an actual, no, it's news, like you know, it's the annual letter. report, so it's an eight page so thing. quite a thing so, for them to carry around. Yeah. So right. I would respectfully suggest that perhaps yeah, no, try sure. that right. No, you're not allowed to put too much to Someone else can propose. <laughs> ben proposed, seconded, boy name. Yeah. All right, what is in favour? Tom? Right, Thank you. <laughs> Quotes for the Ballystoke Town Council advertising contract. Okay, so you have that. Um, Matters Magazine, I didn't hear back from them. Um, Bradley Stoke Journal have uh, quoted us for, um, we normally only have eight, but actually because of the special offer that they've got on, if we go for the full page advert, it's actually cheaper to advertise in nine issues of the journal rather than eight issues of the journal. Why Bradley Stoke doesn't want to do it? I don't know. <laughs> or whether they haven't got the message? Emailed them twice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so what happens if you go to the same Virtually, yeah, it's not. It's not so you're same. recommending the 762? Well, right? I just think it's better value for money. Yeah. Gives us one extra advert. Any comments well. or proposals, anybody? Yeah. I propose that. Sorry? I propose that. Propose 762. 762. And you're seconding it, Michael? Yes. Yeah. All those in favour? Yeah, so what did I propose? Did I actually propose the, the A5, didn't I? Or the A5? Yeah, four page. Yeah. Seven page, yeah. So that was Brian, seconded by Michael. Yeah. Sorry, and can you vote again? One, two, three, four, five. Seven. Seven in favour. Against, one against. Thank you. 8.6, all sites, annual fire charge review. Yeah, we did a review and um, we thought we would go along with the um, CPI figure of 147 September, especially as the uh, cricket bowls and scouts leases had already been agreed on at 1.7. It did go down to 1.5 in October, but I thought we should keep it to 1.7 as, as, as the others. Um, there is uh, storage and equipment, um, no increase. Um, this page three is, is, is where it's detailed. Is that the increase or high rooms 1.7, as I said, as September CPI. Um, I've applied all the rate increases have gone through to the schedules. It's quite interesting that uh, the comparisons, isn't it? Yeah. 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 If I could ask a question on page three and the higher charge options number three. Yeah. Why, why are we proposing a freeze of daily storage fee? Well, um, well, how much is it? I don't know how much it is. I think, I think it's about five minutes. I take it this is, we're just referring now to the biggest core yes. pizza yeah, plan, aren't yeah. we? Yes. So we're increasing his higher charge by 1.7%. So why don't we increase his storage fee by 1.7%? I think potentially because the suggestion is that we freeze Storage rates in number two, which is essentially a storage rate. Yeah, those are for little things. It's bigger than that. <coughs> Plus, it's taking up two parking spaces. So, I know we're going to charge for parking, so we're not losing money, but it is, it is a, a large thing. Whereas other like, stuff, yeah. like a projector screen or a flip chart stand. Mm -hmm. So, do we? 
got you got any of the spots? Yeah, that's fine. No, that's fine. Um, what? Um, just find This is the pizza. You no, know, on here, the five I, I the written is still using. It's the number sure three or? that um, John's referring to. So, the daily storage for B. Yeah. 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 Is it all 1.7%? Is it called pounding? Yeah. 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 Y
Avon Pension Fund 2019 Valuation. Yes, we're in surface, so we're in um, uh, surface of about 2,700, uh, which is a reduction of £225 a month. Um, but we um, need to look at the McLeod, um, do we want to pay an additional contribution in respect to the potential McLeod cost, which is a, it's a court case. Um, I did put a little bit of information on the back. I mean, the Avon Pension Fund have said we should do it, um, and, and if we don't, we should consult our auditors, which uh, is on page um, Yes, the employers can choose to incorporate these estimated, estimated costs in their certified contributions if the if they elect to do this, the, the revised contributions payable are shown in the table, detailed results which is also attached. The total increase in liability as a result of the McLeod is shown in the table headed actual valuation results at 31st of March 2019. If an employer elects not to incorporate the McLeod uh, liability in their certified contributions, they should consult their auditors to determine what provisions should be made for the liability in their financial um, accounts. And it reduces the risk, it would put the risk surface down to 1,900 rather than 27. So it's, which is why I said that we should include it. My suggestion is that you would consider going with the Avon Pension Fund recommendations. Yeah, yeah, they know what they're talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's that's if this cloud thing case falls on its head, would we then reduce our contributions? Well, I guess next year we would be, or we would next be year so. review will be, will be Yeah, so we can, so review, we can review yeah. to reduce it. Yeah, I would think so. I mean, I'm just having yeah. a guess. Yeah. You know, it's it's not that it stuck as is. It's always under yeah. review, isn't it? So, yeah. yeah well, as long as we can reduce it if we don't need to do it. Yeah, yeah, I would propose that we do that, but you know, we'll make sure that we, <coughs> if long as we can afford to pay the extra amount now, then we do it. Well, we, we're we in a surplus, so, so we're still in a, um, a surplus, so it's just a little little bit less, it's not a great deal, and yeah. that's why we should go with um, the eight we, we haven't got to pay the charge that we normally pay for, uh, for a deficit, so which is what we normally pay every, is it every three years? Yeah. Yeah. So that we don't have to pay that because we've got money in the bank, as it were. Yeah. Do you want to increase the short-term pay allowance from two percent? That's um, in respect of the prepay, and I think that I, that's when I asked Sharon, is it one hundred percent? And we that has to be agreed. So we um, so we agreed it with no prepayments because that's the pay scale, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that right. would be so what, what are we going to put in this column here then? Employer response. We'll do the, uh, the default Could, response. Yeah, the default response. I would suggest that you go with the... The, the default response is what Avon Pension Fund are recommending. So it's the 2%, 2%. and yeah. then yes to the McLeod additional contribution. And we don't, it doesn't apply to us here. I don't, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to be a bit thick here. The short-term pay restraint. Do you want to increase the short-term pay allowance from 2% to 2.5%? So the answer is no, isn't it? We want to stay at 2%. Yeah. Am I reading that correctly? Yeah, that's what yeah. That's yeah. an opposition. Yeah. No, that's yeah. So we, our recommendation. Because that should be no, shouldn't it really, not 2%. Well, that, what they're saying is if we don't reply, that's what they that's would reply yeah. to Okay, us. right. Okay, is everyone happy yeah. with this? And Brian, you proposed it, didn't you, then? Yeah. Yeah, second yeah. please. Seconded. Fabricio? No. No, not seconded. No, ben is, okay. Seconded by Ben. Yeah. One in favour? That's unanimous, thank okay. you. You're allowed to propose things if you accept them, you know, Fabricio. You're allowed to speak in each meeting. I don't speak, but I don't know if you're about the A1 pension policy. 
2020-21 second budget back draft, which right. is this bit of paper in the red white one. Yeah, 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 you have it in your agenda pack, but I I actually did the report of that is in your um, pack because Terry had done all the documentation but hadn't managed to do a report. But actually it's my mistake. So the bits in the red are what you had in the report that was in your agenda pack and the bits crossed out. Bits, what yeah, we, what, and so the bits the, not crossed out. What yeah. is new? Yeah. So we're going to a slight deficit in 2021. So that's where we said that we need to consider a small increase. Yeah. So this is really thrusting this upon us. We don't do this, isn't it? Saying that we've got to consider putting it up. Well, you are considering it because it's not till January when you actually make the decision. So yeah. we're just, we're just as officers, you, we are just highlighting the fact that you will need to consider whether you're going to increase the I did mention it in the last one as well the, um, to say that we would have, we'd have to look at it. And then perhaps you could ask the RFO to work up some figures to just yeah. say how what the impact would be of just say a 0.5 percent just so that because it has quite the effect. January. Yeah. So this is this is going to full council for the final decision in January. Yes. Is it? Yeah. When yeah. you set the preset. Yeah. Yeah. So we do need the figures, don't we? Like you said. Yeah. yeah. So you, yes, you need to know what because in the past Rachel's worked up various. Yeah. Front page options with 0.5, 1%, 2%, 3% preset increase. I would suggest well, what I'm trying to say is we can't make a decision now, can we? No, you haven't got to. You're just, that's what I'm saying. You, you just need to bear in mind. So, this is our recommendation to full council to have a look at it. Well, yeah, you yeah. will look at it in full council. Mean, request what type of workings we want presented with presentatives. Yeah, that's what we would seek guidance yeah. for. So. You, the proposal will, would be that you ask the RFO to work up what it would look like with a 0.5% preset increase or a 1% preset increase. I think I would like to see 1.75 based on the CPI figures we were talking about earlier on, and then a half a percent increase and a 1% increase. I'd like to see 0% increase. Well, that's what we've got now. Yeah. But, yeah. Has, but, that, but that does leave you negative. And you, realistically, I know that there is always a surplus, but you can't guarantee on the surplus. And I know Rachel would say that, you know, you have to, you have to be realistic and, and bear in mind. Worst case scenario, all the budgets were spent at the end of March. You cannot be in a negative situation. Yeah. So you do need to seriously consider, possibly, yeah. increasing. By just not even even by 0.5 percent, I would hazard a guess would probably put you into a. It yeah, has quite an effect. This is what I'm thinking about 0.5, and I'd like to see what CPI would look like with 1.7, just because it is CPI. Personally, because that'd be like one extreme, and then at least it's a figure based on something. And then the other lower figures, are yes, then they're based on the workings of the balance in the book. But we've had this all the time, haven't we? Because we, for the last six years, I mean, when, we get, when I've been going through this, it's been like, we always look at the surplus. And the surplus has always stayed roughly around what it is now. But it's only stayed like it is because of what we've been able to do preemptive action. To yes, and Rachel's it. always warned that, that <coughs> this situation would arise eventually, and obviously because the um, the the figures are actually significantly lower, the um, tax base, South Loss, than was predicted last year for this year. It is actually quite a huge yes. drop, which was obviously flagged up in November. So. We've had tax base yeah. drops in the past as well. Yeah. We? Uh, okay, yes, go on. Yeah, Chair, um, <coughs> the, the thing is we can justify putting up um, charges by 1.7%, which is in line with quite a low level inflation. And I think the 1.7% is it, it's an interesting one to sort of put in here. Um, <clears throat> the fact that we have got the benefit of the less expenditure 
on the extension on the on the new build in about a year's time, which actually helps sort of smooth things out later. But yeah, yeah, the yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, if that hadn't been there, I think we would have been definitely having to put it up. Yeah. Um, but you know, I think I think Ben's right. If we sort of do a calculation at one point seven percent as well, in line with that, so that when it comes yeah. to so we're about point five one and one point seven. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Is that too much work? There? No, no, yeah. that's fine. Point five. Point five, five one, one and one point seven. seven. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's and nice to have a full council yeah. to make the. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. It's fine. So can I have a proposal for that? Yeah. I'll second okay. it. I'll vote on my second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Michael, I'll beat you there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a vote on that? All one in favour? Tom? No? No. Uh, one abstention. Okay, thank you. So that's our vote. Right, okay, now that's 8.9 to approve bills and direct debits for payment. Did you have this? You have this one in yellow and blue bit of paper? Yep. You got any questions? We're going to take you them out. Ledger assistant is. It's a, a polo shirt for a ledger assistant. <laughs> <laughs> Just before we finish the meeting, <coughs> first of all, I'd like to wish you all a happy Christmas and to thank you all very much for your support this year. I know it's not financial year, but this year, thank you for support. And also, Sharon, thank you for your work. And could I ask you, Sharon, just give us a very quick update on how Rachel is, please? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.